It's very minimalistic, quite architectural, very pure, very clean, just very simple. It's a side part and on the left side, all the girls the same, very perfect, very, very flat through the front, behind the ears and off the back. And then we're basically ironing the hair. So it's very, very straight and very, very graphic, adding a little bit of hair in underneath just to make the line very, very graphic and bold, very simple. just keeping the head sort of like 90s thing a little bit again but very costume I think very precise perfect architectural glossy hair using a little bit of shine spray to give the hair a really nice texture we're in the Palais de Tokyo so there's lots of natural daylight so we want the hair to look very healthy very rich very expensive very very chic The look today, it's all about Parisian cool. And when I think of that, I think Charlotte Gainsbourg, you know, super cool. Someone who just looks effortless, I would say, when she walks out. So super natural, beautiful, glowing skin. We've enhanced the eyebrows a little bit just to make them appear like we've never plucked them and that they're really beautiful and bushy. And then with the eyes, we put a little bit of black eyeliner to give intensity, so it has a little bit of mystery as well about it. Recently in our website we have a guest, as a guest uh, toilet paper uh, with Maurizio Catalan and uh, Pierpaolo Ferrari. We made this artwork, so inspired by that I continue this, uh, this kind of uh, idea that I started last winter to mix uh, art and rock and roll, and uh, it worked, it's, uh, we are happy. So there is the collection, there is this very costume, there is all the asymmetric, the graphic, and of course some print, some artwork made by Maurizio Gadel and Pierpaolo Ferrari. So there is two shapes, one more fitted, more like tuxedo style, and then I want more loose, more comfort, more easy. So even the fabric, they're like that. We have a very silk and cotton with kind of shape and kind of intensity. And then we have some kind of viscose silk, which is more dropping and soft. Mainly it's uh, black, of course. Then we have some bright red and fuchsia, very strong, very bright. I think that Costume National stands for good tailoring and there seems to be a return to tailoring, a return to geometric shapes. Costume National has always stood for those kinds of silhouettes.
going to bring back a great looking structured, tailored black jacket, I'm sure. Black returns, black and white returns, op art prints. The accessories they are very important this time because we have some bags with artwork, with the print, which they are amazing, and the multi-layer, you know, bag. And then we have the shoes; they are very, very thin. The idea was to make something very clean, and uh, the shoes must be not visible this time, so there there is some transparency as well. Well, for the moment, you know, it's just come. You know, I think when you're a designer, you have antenna and uh, you are very sensitive. And then literally there is something that touch you and you feel, wow, that's driving me somewhere. And there is some power in this energy. And then you just follow and you arrive somewhere. <laughs>